Close your eyes and pay attention to your breath. There are lots of things out there you could pay attention to right now, but pay attention just to the breath. Everything else you can just let go, let go. Because the mind needs this ability to stay focused. All kinds of thoughts come rushing through, and especially when you're upset about something or angry about something. Lots of thoughts are going to come through, and you have to learn how to ignore a lot of them and focus on the ones that are going to be helpful. There are so many potentials in the present moment, potentials for good, potentials for things that are not so good. And it's the things that are potentials for good, those are the ones you want to encourage. Otherwise you get blown around by whatever comes in strongly. You have to make your mind tenacious. Hold on to the breath. Make the breath comfortable. That's one way of making it interesting, making it easier to stay here. If the breath is uncomfortable, your mind's not going to want to stay with it. But if it's comfortable, you can gain a sense of well-being, and you let that sense of well-being spread. It gives you more to hold on to, something better to hold on to. And as for the things that are going to be useless, just let them go. We can't straighten out the entire world, but we can straighten out our minds. And even the mind, you're going to find out, in the beginning has lots of contrary ideas. Ideas that want to help with the meditation, ideas that want to destroy the meditation. And you've got to choose the ones that are going to help and hang on to them. Be tenacious. Tenacity is one of the virtues of the path. You decide that something really is good, something is really is worthwhile. You want to make sure you stick with it for your own happiness and for the well-being of others. It's when you train the mind that you're making the world a better place. The world you experience comes from your mind. And your actions, of course, that have an impact on the world outside, those come from your mind as well. So when you straighten out the mind, you're straightening out the source. You're not dealing with the problem as Sainte at the end of the problem. You're dealing with it at the beginning. That way you can prevent a lot of unskillful things and encourage a lot of skillful things to come about. So find something good inside and hold on. That something good then will have a chance to grow. <laughs>